Hey there, it is Rachel, and I want to know if you experience a similar stress to most of the parents that I work with and talk to, because when I do ask them what situation causes the biggest amount of stress, what situation is it where you're not parenting the way you want to, almost every single one of them says it's when they are running late. When they're running late for getting kids to school or making it to an appointment or getting them to some sort of practice, that's when they tend to forget their respectful parenting strategies. All of the way they want to parent tends to go out the window in those moments. So I want to give you a tip for getting out the door using what I call long game parenting strategies. Because I talk about long game parenting strategies as those strategies that are effective in the moment to motivate better behavior, but also the strategies that not only motivate better behavior then, but also lead to long lasting resilience and healthy self-esteem. And I differentiate these strategies from band-aid parenting strategies. Band-aid parenting strategies are the strategies we do tend to use in the moment to make the situation better, but the positive behavior doesn't last and it also doesn't lead to more resilience and self-esteem. And that's mainly because band-aid parenting strategies focus on what we need and long game parenting strategies focus on what our kids need. So let me tell you what all this means for situations where you are trying to get out of the house. Using band-aid parenting strategies, you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, we're running late. What's the magic phrase I can use to get my child to hurry up? Or what punishment do I need to give them to get them out of the house more quickly? What can I do to make them change because running late makes me uncomfortable? Now, long game parenting strategies would look at this situation where we're running late and we'd say to ourselves, what do our kids need in this moment? It, are they slowing down because they're getting distracted by something? Then maybe what they need are reminders either from me or from an alarm that goes off every once in a while that reminds them to stay on track. Or maybe when we're running late in the morning, it's because they're so tired in the morning, they actually need to wake up a little bit earlier so that we have more time to get ready. So you're ultimately asking, what does my child need to be successful in this situation? Now, as a parent, I absolutely understand defaulting to band-aid parenting strategies because situations like this are hard for us, but they're also hard for our kids. And we're think when we're thinking about what they need to be successful, it helps them, but it also helps us. It leads to better behavior in the moment, and it also leads to longer lasting resilience and healthier self-esteem for our kids. Now, if you want to think a little bit more about what your values are and how you can align your values with your behavior in the moment and use long game parenting strategies, I have a free resource that teaches you how to identify what I call your parenting avatar so that you can align with your values even in moments when you are running late. If you'd like that free resource, you can find it on my website at rachel-bailey.com forward slash avatar. Thanks for being here and I'll see you again soon.